Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome to the jungle here in Bali, Indonesia. And in today's video, what I wanna do is go over an affiliate marketing tutorial to allow yourself to live the four hour work week, make money online, as well as do cool things like rent cool Airbnbs and uh, travel the world. So with that being said, cue the intro. How's it going? Mike Fasile from MikeFasile.com. That is my roommate. <laughs> and if you're new to the channel, we talk all things about making money online, passive income, uh, online jobs, and everything when it comes to Wi-Fi money and internet money. So if you're into that, make sure you hit a subscribe button, hit the notification bell if you're feeling generous, and uh, that way you'll get notified whenever we drop more videos just like this so that you figure out a way to earn online. With that being said, you know, I wanted to go over a review of an article that I saw, an affiliate marketing step-by-step -step guide actually by Neil Patel on here. And I wanted to just kind of like give you my feedback on, you know, mainstream affiliate marketing advice versus, you know, how the real affiliate marketers actually make money online. That way you kind of get a, a broader picture of things because the thing about the internet, right, is sometimes you gotta see the intention behind the articles on the internet. Like most affiliate marketing tutorials are actually a form of affiliate marketing to get you to buy through a certain link, product or service where the person creating the content actually makes money. I mean, this is what I do. You know, I'll literally create affiliate marketing tutorials and then from that I'll actually make affiliate marketing commissions, right? So I want to guys, I want to paint the picture of what it actually takes to make money from affiliate marketing so that if you're somebody that is just kind of confused with all of like the information out there, I want to demystify affiliate marketing to you and actually give you guys how the entire blueprint on how people are actually making a living and not some BS blog article way, but a way that can allow you to create freedom for yourself, right? So I was actually reading this and we can go over it together right now uh, as my roommate's actually cooking bacon right now. So it's like smells really good and it's like hard for me to focus. But you can see that this guy's like a genius marketer, right? Neil Patel, if you look at his blog, neilpatel.com, what is affiliate marketing? If someone was to Google affiliate marketing, this is probably the blog article that they would come about, which don't get me wrong, this is a lot of amazing information. And he's like one of the best marketers out there, but I wanna paint a picture of how a newbie person can just take this information and take actionable steps without all the extra marketing fluff that you know articles need to have to actually rank on Google so that people like you could actually read them. So look at this, the first thing he mentions is four hour work week to wake up in your laptop and see income like this, you know? If, if you're watching this affiliate marketing tutorial and you don't know what the four hour work week is, before we actually begin, I would actually recommend getting that book so you understand exactly what I'm talking about and why that book is the reason why I left America and I now live in Asia as an American. You know, there's so many people being like, I'm leaving California in their YouTube videos. Well, I left America for the benefits of what happens when you don't live in America, but you're still a US citizen. There's so many benefits. I'll talk about that later on. But it's this book that ultimately popularized what affiliate marketing is, right? And he then goes ahead and explains it, what affiliate marketing is. It's just sharing the revenue of a product that you recommend. Like for example, if I love this laptop and you're like, Mike, what laptop do you use? And I'm like, well, this is the laptop I use. Get it in my link below. If you buy from that link, because I recommended you this laptop and because now Apple made a thousand, two thousand dollars from the sale of this laptop, they would give me a percentage of that sale because I was responsible for selling you my laptop. Now, I don't actually have any laptops to sell, but that is just an example of how affiliate marketing works. You have a product, someone wants that product, you recommend the person that wants a product, this specific product, and then you make money. It's as simple as that. It's like, it's one of the easiest online business models. And the thing that makes it easier is when you learn how to build an audience, a tribe, either from a blog, a Pinterest, a YouTube channel, and just gain some type of influence and attention, right? And then he breaks it down. You have the advertiser, the publisher, and the consumer. The advertiser is the affiliate marketer. It's the person that's doing the recommending. It's the guy that has the Instagram, the girl that has a YouTube channel, the person that has a TikTok, the audience, the people, the eyeballs. That's the first part of affiliate marketing. 
The second part is the publisher. Okay, who's the products? Where can you get them from? Publishers are, could be from like ClickBank, Amazon. There's so many different affiliate marketing sites where you could actually take products that you don't even own and make money for it by recommending it to people. And then you have the consumer, the audience member, the people watching, the people reading, the people consuming some type of content that will eventually become the buyers. So in sales, it's like the prospects of people that haven't bought yet, but have a higher affinity to actually buy this product. And then they go over some examples. I remember looking at this exact same website when I was stuck in America, when I was trying to figure out ways to make affiliate marketing work or any online business model work in anything. And this is called, this is what I'm broke.com. Now this was like so insane when I first figured this out and I actually tried making something just like this which completely failed. I wasted a bunch of money, I wasted a bunch of time because I was just so amazed at this affiliate marketing idea. Now this is where I wanna start painting you guys a picture of what it actually takes to build an affiliate marketing business because I thought I could create a website like this. This is why I'm broke where when I did the last check last time, a couple years back, they were making around $20,000 per month profit recommending products to Amazon. Now, if you could see, if you go to any of these links, which a lot of them are all pretty insane and weird, if you click on check it out now, you will see that this is just kind of a glorified front end page to just send them to Amazon. And this is called an affiliate link. So whenever you click on any of these links from this is why I'm broke.com, what happens is Amazon puts like a little cookie thing and it's not like a cookie that you eat or you're not supposed to eat when you're a kid, you know, keeping your hands out of the cookie jar. It's this thing that basically tracks the people that click on the link. And if they buy anything from Amazon in like a 24 hour period, then you would actually get a commission for that. Or this person would get a commission from that. So I remember one time I was recommending my book and I, I gave an affiliate link to my book because my book is on Amazon. Guess what? They didn't buy my book, but you know what they did buy instead on Amazon? A freaking grill. They spent $500 on a grill that I did not recommend, but because they went through my affiliate link, I got a percentage of the sale of the grill. And it was a pretty good commission. But this is just one example of how affiliate marketing can work. Now, the only problem with this that I wanna tell you guys is this is like a one in a million chance because this is popular, it has some virality, there's already a lot of websites that are like this. A normal person cannot come in here and do something like this. This is just like really hard. Like if I was gonna simplify what affiliate marketing is before we actually go into his tutorial and then we'll see exactly realistically, how can you just apply the things that can work and which ones that you shouldn't maybe focus on because it's a little bit more advanced. And that is, all affiliate marketing is, is you figure out a way to build an audience. Let's break it down very simple. YouTube, Pinterest, blogging, TikTok, Instagram. You need to find a tribe of people, right? And you have to build a way to get influence over them. You see it all the time, YouTubers, TikTokers, they have all these eyeballs, they don't have, any products to sell, but you wonder how are they making millions of dollars? Well, it's not because they don't have a product to sell. It's because when you have the eyeballs, especially in today's age, in this economy where it doesn't matter about the US dollar or if it fails or if Bitcoin is gonna be the thing of the future, it doesn't matter on what the currency it is or whatever country it is. The people that have attention, the eyeballs, the people that are following them, those are the people that are gonna be the most successful because we are moving into the age of influence out of the information age. You could just see why people think TikTok is so valuable or why David Dobrik is able to make like $10 million a year plus with his t-shirt merch that he doesn't even have to create or manufacture himself. He has another company do the selling for him. And the moment you build the influence in the audience in whatever social media platform, it doesn't matter, the affiliate marketing becomes so much easier. Like my problem with affiliate marketing is I was trying to find the fastest way to make money with affiliate marketing, but the problem with that is it's just not sustainable. You could make a dollar here, $5 there, $10 there, $50 there, $100 there. Maybe you might get lucky and make $1,000 in a single month, right? But the thing about that is it's not like an actual business because just like that, that business could be taken out from under you. Like for example, right now, I'm here in this place where I've rented basically for a year, right? I, I tend to travel and rent places for a month to six months to in this case, 12 months, right? So I'm, I'm located and stable here for 12 months. And then after when the world opens up, I'm probably gonna you know, move to Barcelona or someplace in Europe or someplace near Russia because my girlfriend's Russian. And I don't know, man, like I've just been in Asia for so long. You know, sometimes I just miss like other aspects of the world, right? And because I'm doing all of that, you would imagine that there's bills that come up. 
Now, the thing about affiliate marketing is if I depended on this traditional way that most of these blog articles talk about affiliate marketing, you know, just post a link up there and then you could make millions and you don't have to do anything ever again, that would just be so risky because I wouldn't have the stable income to actually fund the lifestyle that I actually want to live, which surprisingly is not that expensive. And I bet you I spend less than someone that would live in California, Florida, New York, or even in my hometown in the suburbs of Chicago. But the thing about if, like when it comes to affiliate marketing, what I wanted the most was stability, was to have an income that was reliable every single month so I could actually have the peace of mind to travel, to do the things that I love, to experience life and memories without having to worry about if this business model or if this affiliate program will go down, right? Because that's why, this is, this is what most blog articles will talk about. They're not gonna tell you guys the reality of what it actually means to create reliable, stable income with affiliate marketing. And like I said, this is more so just, you know, one and done, go through a link, you know, and this is assuming that people constantly go to this website. The moment they no longer get traction, there's no sales. Or if Amazon does something bad where it cuts the commissions, like what they did recently, you can literally get half of your income cut and you don't have any control of that, especially if you don't own the audience. This is why before we go straighter into his tutorial, this is why it's so important to own an email list. To because the email list is actually what the affiliate marketing business is. It's not these links that you're sending to random companies. It's the fact that you own a contact information of some person around the world who has a problem and that is following or listening to your advice or your blog or whatever because they think that you could actually solve their problem. And then when you recommend a bunch of products, you're not just stuck on one specific affiliate marketing product. The business isn't the link, it's the email address that you get that you could sell them a bunch of other products to. Not just affiliate marketing products, your own products, other people's products. And it's exactly how the real affiliate marketers make money from this. Like Neil Patel, he's not really making much money off this. He's making money because he's grabbing your email address and then once he has your email address, he can either sell you his products and offers or he could sell you other people's products and offers and that in return is affiliate marketing. So let's actually talk more about other ideas. You know, he talks about ClickBank and we've talked about this time and time again, just look at, just type in Mike Seal ClickBank tutorial. The problem with ClickBank, especially in affiliate marketing is it's exactly what we were talking about. You know, you're promoting a product that might not necessarily be the best product to promote. You know, it has a sleazy feeling to it. You don't wanna be associated to it. If you wanna build some type of personal brand, it's something that you don't necessarily wanna put your face into it. You can see exactly what I'm talking about. Like when I pull up the ClickBank office right here where you could promote any of these products, you could see just how kind of weird they are. This is the typical ClickBank thing that you would be promoting. This is what most people are saying when you see an affiliate marketing guy, oh, promote something on ClickBank. But then you have this hope and ambition and you're like, I'm gonna make money on ClickBank. And then you see the products that you're dealing with. Sorry, but there's really not much more we can do. With something that you never actually wanna recommend. Like you never wanna actually leave a review. And if you do look at some of the reviews, they're kind of like not the most authentic and they kind of feel a little sleazy and something that you just don't wanna build like a long-term brand with, especially for just, you know, a hundred bucks here, a hundred bucks there. Granted, you know, there, there are 500 people, which you could tell by this number in the past 30 days that have made money with this. So they've made at least a hundred bucks, which is teaching people to like lose weight. But I don't know, I don't know about you. It, it, did you ever feel this way when promoting ClickBank offers? Because this is how I felt. And this is why this was the only problem that I have when with affiliate marketing, the first example that they always talk about is ClickBank, right? But what I don't never see anyone really talking about is the real way people are making money with ClickBank, and that's promoting other people's high ticket offers through webinars and sales presentations where you're just essentially giving somebody an email address, you're, having, you're sending an email out to your email list, and you're having them sign up for a webinar, and on the webinar, you are just introducing a friend that is super successful in either e-commerce or affiliate marketing or some type of make money online idea. After you recommend them for like a minute or two, they do an hour or two presentation of them giving value, of them giving value to your audience, to your email list or whatever, and then they'll sell them a product. And you can see, for example, right here on this website, I talk about it all the time. You know, you have this one, which is one of the products that I promoted back in the day. It's a $3,500 product, right? 
So when you click on that, you can literally apply to be an affiliate for that. And the craziest thing is they use ClickBank as an affiliate network. Now this isn't an offer that you could find in ClickBank. This is something that you have to apply for that is free to get in. And usually most people get approved. So you could just literally see that this is gonna be coming up and you could promote for this anyways. You could figure out a way to build an email list anyways. And this is what's crazy because then you could send them to their webinar. You don't have to do any of the selling. They do all the selling for you. And if you get one sale, you get $1,200, 50% of this. So when you look at the typical way of how to do affiliate marketing, you look at all these things, how many of these products, these $50 products, these $17 products that are just so random, like from numerology to diabetes, and these are all the top offers, by the way. These are all the top offers that are making most people the most money, but it's like, is this something that you really wanna put like your face in front of? This is actually teaching people how to create weight loss. And you're like, what the hell's going on? It's very sensationalized, right? I would just, for me, uh, whenever I would get started again in ClickBank, I would just go this route and just find products that I believe in. I'd maybe even interview the person who has the podcast or who has the product. I mean, that's exactly what I did, for example, on my blog. I talk about this all the time, especially in the ClickBank tutorial. I interviewed this guy who made 5.3 million in 14 days with this launch, something like this, except for his product, his product was I think like a $2,000 or $3,000 product. And then I interviewed him for like about 30 minutes or so on my blog and my podcast and my YouTube channel. And it was that podcast that did the selling for me to then recommend the product that they had. And it's like something that's so much more better because you know, you get a network with the product creators. You're not just like in your own little island trying to sell these weird ClickBank <laughs> products that you don't understand what they're actually selling and you could actually feel better with the things that you're promoting and you get to become friends with a bunch of cool people. Like you can see this is literally what I do and this is a good way that I make money. This is the real way that I make money with ClickBank. I don't promote these products that I feel very bad about if someone ever bought this from. I promote products of people that I actually enjoy spending time with, that I know that I understand their products are good. And the first time that I actually found and met Gary before I actually moved to Bali and met him up in person was he was on a list like this saying, oh, I have a $2,000 program. Anyone with an email list want to promote this product? I'll give you 50% of it. I'll do the selling. You don't have to do anything. You just send the email to this masterclass or webinar and I'll do everything else. Now this is the real way that people are making money with ClickBank, the big guys. So let's keep on going. The next step that he's talking about is creating your own product idea. So, you know, and, and this is interesting because this is like an affiliate marketing tutorial for beginners. For most people starting off, they're not like, it's for, for most beginners, like I'm talking about, you know, Sally from Kansas, who's a single parent that works in accounting for some small company in the tri-state area. She's not going to be able to create her own product. You know, the thing about creating your own ClickBank product or affiliate marketing product is there's a lot of sales and marketing psychology that you need to learn. There's a lot of trial and error. No one's going to want to promote your product if you don't have any results. So he then goes about talking about how to create your own product, which in the beginning, it's very, very hard for something that's a beginner. And I know there's some advanced people that watch this, but I'm talking to like the person that's just had this dream to start this affiliate marketing business. What do I do? Where do I go? I want to travel around the world and be in Bali too, and have a bunch of random people always walk behind you while you talk and give these tutorials. Mike, I want to be like you. How can I do this? It's not by actually creating your product first. It's by finding the products that exist and just recommending them, building an email list, and then sending them offers. So that's why like half of this is mostly unapplicable to most people that are watching these YouTube videos. So then let's actually go into like the actual thing that actually works. So now he talks about how to get traction, how to create content, how to recommend people to these things. Like I said, I'm gonna go over his way and I'm gonna go over a more tangible, more step-by-step -step action tutorial way on how you can actually apply this for your business, right? So they say the first thing you wanna do is review products. Which products? Any products that you actually work. You can see they do it on YouTube. So here's a review on some train tracks. You see blog articles that talk about this classic affiliate marketing review blog. And all of them have this Amazon affiliate link, right? Now the problem with this 
Most of these sites don't make that much money. Like the big ones, you know, like TechCrunch or Buzzfeed, or if you found a way to get other people to create the content for you, they make really good money. If you have years and years of social media marketing, digital marketing, SEO, creating backlinks, for most people don't understand what that is. It's just like this technical form of Google seeing which one of these sites have the most authority or respect or credibility. Most people, beginners coming on, will not have that capability. And guess what? They're gonna buy a course, they're gonna try figuring things out, and they're gonna wonder why is it so hard to start this affiliate marketing business, it seems like everybody talking about it, it seems like it's the easiest business out there, but how come I can't actually do it for myself? And it's because all these things are a little bit more advanced than people starting off. Like I said, the easiest way is building an email list, sending them high ticket products. You get one sale, one sale a month, right? You don't need even need to have a big email list. One sale a month at 50% and that's $1,200. You get 10 sales, in a month, that's a six figure business. How many sales of this do you have to make to, to build a six figure business? Let's see, you would have to get about three sales of this each day. So with 30, you need a little bit under a hundred sales. Which one sounds easier? A hundred sales or 10 sales? You can see why I get kind of like angry when no one really talks about this model of affiliate marketing because this is exactly how people make money the fastest, especially with zero experience. With this, you need a big audience. You need like hundreds of thousands of views to actually make a good living. Here, you don't even need to have a big YouTube channel, a big blog, a big whatever. You just need to have an email list of maybe like a couple hundred people. Like my friend who just keeps on walking, like especially in the beginning, he only had like an email list of 2,000 people. But from that, he can make a six-figure side hustle just by sending emails to that list. Just 2,000 people on his email list. Not 10,000 YouTube subscribers, not 100,000 Instagram subscribers. He only had 2,000 people on his email list. Six figure business. Which one sounds easier? Building a million subscriber YouTube channel or 2,000 people on your email list? And here, finally, he says it build an email list with your prospects on it. And the craziest thing is this is actually one of his products. Right, so he's kind of like affiliate marketing himself, right? So you could see exactly what people are doing. One of the most important things, especially when you watch these tutorials, is you gotta figure out how are people actually making money from these tutorials? Because most people don't wanna just give tutorials from like the kindness of their heart. There's always some monetary approach. And sometimes that approach is more lucrative than affiliate marketing itself, right? So you can see he's doing an affiliate marketing tutorial, but geniusly, this is one big giant preframe to get into his email list and to sell you some type of software that's reoccurring. This is the second level. Once you see what people are buying with affiliate marketing, sometimes it's better to even just go and create the product yourself. Now, inception wise, just think about how this affiliate marketing tutorial makes money. Number one, it's content. So people are gonna come from the search engine, from YouTube, from my blog, from my Pinterest, because they're typing some type of affiliate marketing tutorial. Number two, I get paid from the AdSense of this because people are watching this and I'm making money from the ads that play on this. Number three, I'm building some type of credibility or authority or rapport because when people see me just screaming out of my lungs, just saying how things really is and telling you exactly what you need to hear instead of what you want to hear of all the, like the online marketing, affiliate marketing fluff, people are gonna start resonating with that. Yes, some people will find me offensive and be like, oh, Mike, that guy yells. He needs to put on a t-shirt. He needs to do something. But the people that actually see through what I'm actually doing and that's just telling you exactly what you need to hear to really make money instead of just spending all of your time watching all of these videos that aren't going to make you real money, those people are going to turn into some type of customers later on in my life. So you can see exactly why when you look at these tutorials, how are these people that are making the tutorials actually making money? When you see that, you could all start seeing so many other business ideas and opportunities, and then you couple affiliate marketing on that, and it just turns insane. Like the income is reliable, it's stable, you'll get peace of mind, you'll win back your time. It's so much better. Even less with 500 people on your list, you can create significant sales. So that's why, you know, people create, oh, build an Instagram following, oh, build a YouTube following. Those are all good, but those are all tools to build your email list. You build your email list, you can make so much stable, reliable money. Like I said, no one really talks about it. Just look at the second link in the description below. And guess what? There's affiliate links in that as well. And then step three, educate your audience with live webinars. Now here's the thing. Like I said, most people 
Starting off, they're not gonna have this. This takes years of understanding sales and marketing. My first webinar and sales presentation was horrible. It was horrible. I lost my voice. I forgot what to say. I was nervous because I thought people were gonna think I was an idiot. And guess what? I was an idiot because sometimes I would just lose track of thought and I would just get worried about what other people would think, right? The easier way, like I said with this, is sign up for someone else's program, have them do the sales presentation for you, you just collect the email address and then send them to their webinar. So instead of your face on here, it's their face. And then they do the selling for you. Like if you look at the way that I sell, or if you see any of the ads that I have, I'm not actually the one doing the webinar presentation. The craziest thing is I'm really good at it. I'm really good at doing webinars and masterclasses, but why don't I do it? Because I want the true affiliate marketing where I have someone else do it for me while I just focus on grabbing the email addresses and recommending them to these products. Remember, do what I do, not what I say. Don't do what other people are saying in these tutorials and blog articles and YouTube videos. Do what they do. Do not watch their mouth, watch their feet because then you can see what their goals are, their action plans, and how you could actually reverse engineer for yourself. And last but not least, they say launch a Facebook ad. So the thing about Facebook ads, realistically, you're gonna need about $10,000 that you're gonna be willing to lose. Because with webinars, with higher ticket products, it just takes more money that, you, that before the algorithm of the Facebook platform will really understand. Oh, well, Mike, what's an algorithm? It's basically the robots in Facebook that puts your ad in front of someone that they think would take an action on that ad. I wouldn't recommend it. I would just recommend with free traffic, YouTube, blog, Pinterest. These are all free to get started with. These are what I got started with. And the thing is, some of the best money I made was from affiliate marketing by just creating free traffic. And how you do that is you just get really good at just sharing the things that, I, that you learn. And when you put content out there, you have people subscribe for an email list, even if you don't have an affiliate product to sell. Well, Mike, do I get it from ClickBank? Do I get it from Amazon Associates? Like what I see all of these tutorials for, it doesn't matter because if you have the email address, all you gotta do, type in a simple email, be like, hey guys, there is this masterclass coming on about my friend. And then insert some, mentor that you met through this process. This is how I met them. Everyone's like, Mike, how did you meet your mentors? This way, I reached out to them because I saw that they were selling a product. I helped them sell the product. And then I met him, them up in person in either Singapore, in Thailand, in Bali, in America, in Europe. And then I became friends with them. And then now we have a partnership. This is business 101. This is what most people don't talk about. People think that internet marketing is this thing that you do alone, but it's like business in general. You need people to be in your mastermind. You need other people's help as you help other people. And the reason why people succeed is because they're not just spending all of their time looking at a bunch of videos and ideas every single day on YouTube. They're getting out there and networking with people in the industry. And this is exactly how to make money with affiliate marketing, not some fairy tale way on, oh wow, I saw this YouTube tutorial, I saw this blog article, this is how they make money, this is how I'm gonna make money. And then you get angry when you don't get results at the end of the week or the month or the year, you're like, this doesn't work, it's a scam, I'm gonna go back to my job. The reason because of it is because you're not actually doing what they're doing, you're just doing what they're saying, but when you see the thing of the matter, the people doing the tutorials aren't actually doing these themselves. They're doing what I'm talking about, building an audience, getting their email address, selling them to other people's products and having them do it. So guys, hopefully this helps. What are your thoughts on this? Comment below, I would really love it. And also leave a like, comment, and a subscribe and hit the notification bell. Guys, I'm starting a second channel, so make sure I'm gonna be posting more raw rants like this on there and I'm gonna be posting more frequently on there. And I just wanna say I'm super grateful for you guys. Uh, you guys have watched it all the way to the entire end, which means that you guys are taking this seriously. And the reason why I make these videos is for the people like you, the people that stay until the end and watch until the end because they're the ones that are the most hungriest. And if this resonated with you, maybe just type in hashtag banana pancakes in the comment below so that when people that are just watching the first couple of minutes, they read the comments, they're like, banana pancakes, what the hell? And they wouldn't really understand. So it's like a little inside joke for the people that stay until the end, for the stay until the end club. So that being said, I love you guys. I'm so grateful for you guys. And yeah, I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.